on, you're gonna be on a calendar, man. Make a pose. Like, po there you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Eric from Varus Engineering and we are out here today testing our uh, new product, uh, rear diff cooler. We're also testing the rear diffuser and some front dive planes. Basically with the rear diff cooler, we're basically going out on track with the rear diff at a specific temperature starting out. And then we're gonna run it for a set amount of laps and then we're gonna bring it in, record that data from the aim and then basically shove on our rear diff cooling plate let the car cool down to the specific spot again, and then we're gonna go out and do the same amount of laps and then compare that data before and after and see what our rear cooling plate is doing and what the rear diff temps are doing on track. Let's get to it. The wires you see on the rear of the car are basically two thermocouples that are on the rear diff. That is gonna be measuring the temperature of the rear diff itself on track. We have an AIM EVO 5 in the car that is measuring the car's data as well as these two thermocouples. This is the rear diff cooling plate that basically we're going to be rele releasing soon as long as it actually works. And um, it basically installs to the rear diff with four bolts and four nuts. Really simple install, it takes maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but we gotta get to the testing, so let's go. All right, guys, to conclude what we saw on track with our rear diff cooling plate, um, we basically saw an increase in cooling capacity from the diff cooling plate. Basically, given our short stints on track due to brake issues and overheating the tires, we saw basically that with the diff cooling plate, the increase in temperature started to plateau, where without the diff cooling plate, the increases continued to rise. Um, we're going to basically attribute that to the diff cooling plate um, because that's the only difference between A and B testing. But ultimately the diff cooling plate worked and we're happy with the product so that's why it is now released. Um, Clay will throw up a quick little graph of what we did with our AIM EVO 5 and some thermocouples on the diff and then uh, you guys can view that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We have a lot of other development planned for the Supra involving aero and cooling primarily. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of testing as long as the car continues to cooperate. And um, we basically tried to fix the brakes. So hopefully the brakes are getting fixed here shortly. Uh, we'll also throw on some new rubber and possibly su su some suspension upgrades to continue to uh, test the car on track. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, look forward to uh, some more videos here coming this summer. And thanks for liking and subscribing us.